MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Should be a good one here this afternoon between the Toronto Blue Jays and the New York Yankees. Yankee baseball starts now. Masahiro Tanaka the right hander from Japan will get the starting assignment in this one. What do you have for us on him Danny. Hey every team needs a pitcher like this one here his numbers aren't going to blow you away career ERA just under four but one thing he does he takes the ball every five days throws strikes and gives his team a chance to win every single time he goes out Leading there. The It'll be fun to watch Toronto. in this one here today. The Settling in now Bo Bichette, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. In there at the knees, strike one. First pitch, one o'clock. A ball and a strike to our leadoff man here this afternoon. Chopped toward the second baseman. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. Hey, I know everybody was on their toes right there from the pitcher to the defensive side. Leadoff hitters are known for this. Find ways to beat the ball into the ground and beat it out and get on base. Now they have to keep him in check. Let's see if they hold the runner close. To the plate now, Kevin Biggio. As the first pitch sinker misses to him, it's ball one. Nobody out, runner on first. Hey. A high fastball is in there. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. The 1-1 one, one home. Hey. And there is our officiating crew in this one calling balls and strikes Mr. Freddie Ferguson. Hey D Roy, you better be ready to swing particularly at that low pitch Freddie Ferguson low ball umpire. Yeah it makes it tough on the offense. I, I was a guy who liked the low ball but that usually means those guys are susceptible to that slider in the dirt. You have to see the ball up and this guy doesn't give you a chance. He froze him on the breaking ball that time. Kevin Biggio goes That's down for the first out the of the game. Guriel. Into the box now. Lourdes Guriel. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for bowl one. First chance for him here with a runner at first and one gone. Two and zero to the Jays' left fielder. Two tough sliders right there, but he was able to lay off him. Might have bought himself a fastball in this situation. Two and zero count and the pitch. Oh, it's hit to third. Five, four, three. It's a double play, and the inning is over. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. It's on to the bottom of the first. No score on the show. Chase Anderson gets the starting assignment in this one for the Jays. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, Chase Anderson, Matt, a pretty good pitcher. A really good control. He has a three-pitch mix, a fastball, curveball, and the straight changeup. His changeup has gotten better. As a matter of fact, if he has that straight changeup, it makes his 92 to 93 mile an hour fastball look that much better. If he's on, you'll Leading know off. early that they'll be getting team. a lot of quick outs. The Into base. the box, DJ Mayhew. He'll lead things Love off here Mayhew. in the bottom half of the first. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0-1.
Hit on the ground to short. Bichette picks it up cleanly. And quickly, there's one down to lead off the frame. Batting second, the third baseman, Miguel Andujar. Standing in, Miguel Andujar. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Here's the pitch. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. Nope. Ball one. Andujar takes the swings from the right-handed batter's box, but he's one of those rare hitters that actually thrives facing same-handed pitching. One of the very best in the game, as a matter of fact, in that type of matchup. Yeah, Matty, he, he does not leak with that front side. He keeps that shoulder tucked, stays inside the baseball, and it gives him every opportunity to hammer the fastball and stay on that breaking stuff. And he tries for the backhand, reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. And he'll pull into second with one away. Yeah, I think he was sitting on the fastball, so third. he got the changeup. He was hitter. way out in front of it, but Wait, he kept girl. his hands back long enough Go to keep around. it fair down the line. That's not always easy to do. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Runner at second here with one man out. Here's a fastball at the knees. Good spot, good pitch, and it's 0-2. Hey, after that extra base hit, things could go awry. He didn't. He battled right back in his zone with a nice executed pitch. This is hit high and deep out to left. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Batting four, the right fielder, Aaron Judge. So a runner in scoring position with two men gone, and that'll bring up the big bat of Aaron Judge. Here comes the first pitch. Ball, that's out. The 1 0. And Ball, there's a fastball out. well off the plate inside. No reason to give in to him here with a base open. Putting him on base just gives your defense more ways to help get you out of this. The set and the 2 0. Fouled off. The 2-1 pitch. Swing and he pops him up. Looks to be playable in foul ground. And he gets there as he had a lot of ground to cover that time and the side is retired. Yanks leave one. And this is still a nothing-nothing ball game. Now the Toronto number four hitter, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Now here it comes. Weak grounder down the line at third, but a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. And gone. An absolute bomb. A solo shot here to left as the Jays get the game's first tally. It's one to nothing. Well, if you're going to give up a towering blast to one of the best players in their lineup, it's better to do it with no one on base. It stings, sure, but a solo shot isn't going to be the deciding factor in a game.
And that brings up the left handed hitting Travis Shaw. And so watch one miss down and in for a ball. 1 0. Base is empty here with nobody out. Ball. Up top, it's 2 0. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Tuckman will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Batting fifth, the center fielder, Randall Grichik. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And the big right handed bat of Randall Grichik saunters into the batter's box next. Here's the first pitch to him. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. Bases are empty, one man out. Barely able to make contact, down 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Weak grounder down the first baseline. Ready with another 0 2. One ball, two strikes. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. This inning didn't get started the way he'd hope with that home run, but I've got to give that him credit that for that flushing it and coming hitting. back here to get strikeouts really. on the last two guys. McKinney. He's acting like it didn't even happen before. That'll bring up Billy McKinney. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. And he looks at a slider in there, one and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Tough to do much with that one, a swing and a miss. Hey, I got to commend him a little bit. Lead off homer, and now he's one pitch away from getting out of this nope. inning without any further damage. The count two and now two. at two and two. Now the pitch. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. A 2 2 one more time. Grounded down the third baseline. But a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Locked in a good battle. Here comes another one. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Jay's off to a good start thanks to the solo shot. We'll go to the bottom of the second. It's now 1 0 Toronto. Here's Brett Gardner now. He'll lead things off, off here in this one-run contest. The center fielder, Brett Gardner. First pitch coming. Here it is. Hey. Here's the one and one delivery. Ball. Two balls, 
two strikes. And he comes back with one down and in for ball three. Gary Sanchez is on deck. The three two pitch. To first Shaw has it. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Batting fifth. The catcher. Gary. Sanchez. So striding forward now, Gary Sanchez. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Nope, up there. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. One and one to count. One out, nobody on. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Rolled slowly down the first baseline. Just missed with the 2 2 count, and it runs full now. Mike Tuckman waits on deck. Now the 3 and 2 pitch. A bouncer to the left side, and that's through a base hit. Man, that's a nice job by the batter right there, keeping the front batter, side batter. in. Not easy on a curveball. Would have been easy to throw the front side and hook that foul, but he was able to stay inside and drive it for a base hit. At the plate now, Mike Talkman. And that is down as that could be two bases. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. This guy just feasts on the mistakes base, up in the zone, and, and that's exactly what he gets right Four. here. A belt-high pitch, he drives into the alley. Great chance now with two runners in scoring position. So now to the plate, Luke Voigt, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Ready with the 0-1. That's a ball. If you're going to have success against some of the better hitters in the game, you've got to get that pitch right there. 0-2, he's almost certainly out. 1-1, he's got a chance to really do some damage. Has a look, now the pitch. Second and third here, one man out. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Well, there's the great equalizer, the changeup, El Cambio. Listen, Batting if you gun. can keep that pitch in your That's back your pocket stop. and pull it out when you need I it, learned. like he did right there, usually Way. hitters, they don't stand a chance. And that'll bring up Tyler Wade. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Here's the 1 0. 2 0 now. DJ LeMayhew would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Runners at second and third with two gone. And he nope. takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Now batting second baseman, 
DJ. So Love stepping Mayhew. in, DJ LeMayhew, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Looking to wiggle out of this, here it is. Called a strike on the outer half, 0-1. He's had some success so far, but he's going to need to continue to throw strikes early on in the zone because the more they see this guy, sooner or later they're going to figure him out. Now a cut fastball, but that doesn't threaten the zone. It's even at one. Swing and a soft liner. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. So they pick up no runs on two hits, no errors, and they leave the bases loaded. We played two full. The Jays lead it one to nothing. Derek Fisher, the next to bat. Leading off for Toronto, the right fielder, Derek Fisher. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Now a fastball to start the third. That misses. It's ball one. The 1-0. The swing and a miss, strike one. Beautifully thrown splitter right there. High 80s, down in the zone. Looks like a fastball coming, and then boom, the bottom falls out of it. Terrific pitch. The 1-1. One, one. Outside, that's the ball. Two one pitches, a splitter swung on and missed two and two. Hey, would like to see a little bit more discipline in that. You get a count in your favor, and you swing at a pitch that bad, not good. And it's fouled away. The two two one more time. And he fouls this one off. Two two. Pull down. Three two. You do not want to walk the eight hole hitter. It just opens up so many options. Do we bunt them over to second with the nine hole hitter? Do we try and play for that big rally with the top of the order coming up? This is a huge pitch. You can't allow this guy to walk. Pops this one up. And there's your first out of the inning. Batting nine. The catcher, number 10. Next to bat for Toronto, Reese McGuire. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Popped him up. Void is there. Two down. Now batting, number 11. So it's back to the top of the order now, and into bat next, the legacy Bo Bichette. Here comes the first pitch. Hey. The wind up and the 0 1. Strike two swinging just out in front of the slider. Down 0 2 to a guy with this much weaponry, five pitches he can go to, not looking good. And a splitter here, but he had a bit too much on it as this bounces up to the plate. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. Three. And a fastball called strike three, and the side is retired. Blue Jays go down in order, but they lead it one to nothing.
And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar. As we got. move on For to the, the bottom Yankees. of inning number three. The third baseman, Miguel Andujar. And the pitch. Takes this the other way to right. And that's in for a base hit. His second in as many trips to the plate. With that, the Yankees have put their leadoff hitter aboard to start out the now inning. That, the designated Obvious hitter. pitch recognition Waver. right there. O-O change-ups Go usually red. get guys out in front, but he was able to stay back, recognize it, and drive it for a base hit. At the plate, Torres. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. and oh. These are the moments in the game that can sway it one way or another while you get a W or a loss right here. Lead-off man on, heart of the order coming up. Guy out on the mound, this guy's work cut out two for him. Not close, it's 2-0. Oh. Too tight oh, with that one. 3-0. and oh. This inning hasn't started ideally for him on the mound, but here on 3-0, you have to have the mentality that you're only a strike and or a ground ball double play away from getting back on track. Oh, and he leaves the fastball up there. Mistake in location. He is going to pay for it dearly as that ball is sent over the wall. A home run. So a two-run homer down the line in left, and the Yankees take the lead. It's two to one. As soon as this thing left the bat, you knew it had the distance to get out of here. The only question was whether it was going to stay fair or not. And that question was answered with the resounding doink as it caromed off the foul pole for a homer. Here's big right Aaron Judge. Aaron. High fly ball Jones. out to straightaway center. There to play it is Gritchick, and that's the first out. The center fielder, number 11, Brett Gardner. Digging in for his second at bat, Brett Gardner. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First pitch on its way. And that's inside, inside for a ball, 1 and 0. Oh. Still only one out in the inning. Lifted down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. The 1-1 one, one home. Fouled off again, and now he's in a 1-2 and two hole. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Hey, three foul balls in a row right here, searching for that put-away stuff. Another foul ball, and this battle will continue. Bases are empty, one man out. Line drive to center field. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. Now batting. So now time Hector. will be called as we're going to get a visit from the pitching coach here as he'll hope to settle his guy down. Standing in now, Gary Sanchez. Pitch out, nothing doing. Now a move over to first, but the runner's back easily. Now the 1-0. 
Grounded to third. This could be two. He's got it. To second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. The sights and sounds of a day at the ballpark. Oh, my goodness. The three of us are back with more following this. Leading off the inning, Kevin Biggio, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Kevin Biggio. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Nope, that's down. One and zero pitch on the way. A bouncer to the left side and he is going to have extra bases to start the fourth and the Jays are in business now it's a leadoff double man that's got the sting for the pitcher and his teammates they just get on the board and are feeling good about themselves looking for a shutdown inning so they can get some more runs on the board but instead this guy blasts a leadoff double getting that shutdown inning is going to be a lot tougher now in now, Lourdes Gurriel. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Has a look. Now the pitch. Softly hit toward the hole. Scooped up. Only play will be the pitcher covering, and the runner will advance to third now. The bat, number 27. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. The last at bat, Matty V. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off speed pitches. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Good manufactured run right there. Lead off double, move him over with the ground ball, and just put the ball in play and let him come home. Make scoring runs look easier than it actually is. So digging in next will be Travis Shaw. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. 50th pitch of the game on its way. Ball one. The 1-0. Is swung on and missed in that strike one. Shaw, an Ohio native, he was a ninth round pick back in 2011. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. Two runs, three hits, and no errors in the game for Toronto. And another foul ball. fouled away don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone three foul balls in a row he wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone after multiple pitches were fouled off it gets a little disappointing as a pitcher so you think to say I'm going to throw one way off the plate and see if he'll chase it didn't happen and this one runs in on him as he can't get his arms extended. A great pitch there, and the inning is over. So one run, one hit, no errors, and no one left on base. To the bottom of inning number four we go, and we are tied 2-2. Welcome back to the Bronx as we check in with Heidi. 
Thanks, Matt. I talked with Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. It's still pretty early in the game, but they've seen a lot of pitches already. And he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning, given the quality of the at-bats they're putting together. Thank you, Heidi. So digging in now, Mike Talkman. He'll step in Yankees. trying to do something about this 2-2 two, two tie. Mike Talkman. And now pitch on the way. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. And a fastball way off target here, and it's even at one. One ball and two strikes to count. The one two misses for the second ball. Fouled off. The 2 2. Three, two. And that misses for ball four to lead off walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. Yeah, and as a starter, the last thing you want to do is let a oh, team answer when your guys just score and run for you. Man. So he's thinking ground ball right here to try to get a double play and end this threat. Striding in once again, Luke Voigt. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. And you can live with punching out with the bases empty, but in his last at-bat with two runners in scoring position, you cannot go down not putting the ball in play. Too much on the line, too many ribby opportunities out there to swing and miss in that spot. And he powers a cut fastball by him that time, and he's in charge now, nothing in two. So far in this game, he's the only guy in the lineup that's gone down on strikes. This is the only guy in the lineup that struck out so far, and now he finds himself in the hole with two strikes. And a breaking ball in the dirt that time for a ball. Hey, the fish ain't biting there on that 0-2 breaking ball, but you got to be careful because this pitcher might throw him another one. 2-2 Two -two is our score. Leadoff man aboard at first here with nobody out. Still one and two. Again, another foul ball. Count still at one and two. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. A runner at first with no outs here. There's a line drive, base hit to left field. Boy, talk about making a pitcher work, d -row. Eight pitch at bat. Battle. Finally leads That's off to a base hit. I got to be honest with you, after the seventh Way. pitch, you start to get an auto swing mode. He could have thrown the rosin bag, and he would have took a hack at it. So hats off to him, not only battling for eight pitches, but getting a result. Strike one to start the at-bat. Here comes the 0-1, and he pops up the bunt attempt. Therefore, it is Guerrero, and that's the first down. Up next for the Yankees, the second baseman, DJ. Here's the second Ron baseman, Mayhew. DJ LeMayhew. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. 
Cut fastball in there for a called strike. And now the Blue Jays get a left-hander up and throwing in their bullpen. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Hit out towards second. One there. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. One left for the Yankees. Through four, we're deadlocked at two apiece. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Blue Jays to discuss his thoughts on his team's lineup so far. And he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said their pitch selection has been the main reason for their struggles today, as far too often they've been swinging at pitches outside the strike zone. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and easy outs. So the focus going forward is on shrinking the zone and forcing the opposing pitching to throw more strikes. Thank you, Heidi. The center fielder. Randall, Randall Grichik at the plate now. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ball. One 0 count. Here it is. Ball. That's out. Not the way you'd like to start this fifth inning, falling behind 3-0 on the count. It's about time he starts throwing some strikes. The pitch. And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. Well, that is definitely not the now way to start is. an inning. One thing to give up a walk, but to do it on four pitches is pretty alarming. He looks a little thrown off right now. Now at the plate, Billy McKinney. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Steel, He's running. Steel. Slapped hard the opposite way, but gloved by the third baseman for the out. And they'll run him down and tag him out between first and second. A double play. Now batting. Right fielder. Derek Fisher. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up next, the University of Virginia product, Derek Fisher. First delivery to him on the way. Inside, ball one. The 1 0. Ball, that's in. Two runs, three hits, and no errors in the game for Toronto. And right into the shift, but a foul ball, and it's 2 and 1 now. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the guy work for it. He's doing that, and he's even gotten himself into a good hitter's count now. And that'll get down for a two out single. Kind of looked like he had gotten his bearings there. Dan was going to have a one, two, three Double inning, but bad. not the case, giving up that late two out knock. Well, this lineup is so deep, one through nine, they could put a hurting on you, and they're making him work, and he's given up a lot of base hits so far in this one. So far, this has not been an easy one for this pitcher. And it's fouled away. He popped out in his first trip. The 0 and 1 delivery got him to go after that one and he's in a quick hold 0 and 2. Not too many guys taking the mound today with this good a split. Look at the downward action on that thing. It's fallen off the table. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw on to Voigt takes care of him and the inning is over. Blue Jays held in check. 
halfway home tied to a piece. Here's Miguel Andujar now. Go. For the Yankees, the third baseman, Miguel Andujar. Here comes the first pitch. Oh, and this one is hit a ton out to center. Racing back the center fielder. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. Around second. He's on his way to third. And he'll get there as he legs out the leadoff triple. Of course now they feel good about the triple, but I know how managers Laver. thinking. He's in the dugout wishing that triple would have come when some guys were on base. They've left a lot of guys out there in this one. We'll see if his teammate can bring him home. To the plate now, Torres. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. A couple of RBIs for him already, and a chance for more here. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. It'll die on the warning track as the catch is made, and here comes the runner from third. And the go-ahead runs in to score as they break the tie. It's three now to pass. two. Great White job field. of offensive Aaron. execution there. Lead off yeah. triple and then the sack fly to bring home a run. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Aaron Judge. One run in and one gone so far this inning. First offering on its way. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1 0. Time to be aggressive with these hitters now. After that sack fly, now it's time to try to get out of this inning with only one run scored. The 1 0. Is belted, and take a look at this. Deep to right center field, and it's gone! Solo home run there for Aaron Judge, and it'll give the Yankees a four to two lead. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. So here's the veteran Brett Gardner. Brett. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half, it's 0-1. A hit in two tries for him so far. Pitch on the way. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Pretty unusual that you see a 5-0 hitter take two strikes in a row. Typically, those are some of the most aggressive batters in the lineup. That's a Might have been looking to find that outside corner, but he one couldn't ball. quite get it there. It's one and two. Lined hard toward right center. And that's into the gap and should be extra bases. And he'll reach second now with one away. Their own pitcher is absolutely dealing right now. So this is a big Gary. moment in this game. If his teammates That's can Gary. pick him up and drive him in now, that might be all they need to get the W here. Thomas Pannoni, the lefty standing now, six foot four, even, four, takes four. over the pitching duties Number here. 45. Late now, Gary Sanchez in the dirt here, 
And no advance. It's ball one. One out and a runner on second base. Strike swinging. Chased a high one there. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That could be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Hey. And this is taken for a called strike. Oh, that's a tough call. Now one and two. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. From the belt, the pitch grounded to first. Shaw gloves it, and he'll take this one to the bag for the out. But meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. Not now a lot you can do with that fielder. pitch. That fastball just Mike. ate him up inside Stop and gets man. the soft grounder for the out. Into the box now, Mike Talkman, runner in scoring position with Sugan. He's set. Here it comes. A man on third with two down. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Now a ball lined to the left side. Foul. Set to deal on two and two. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Five innings complete. The Yankees four, the Blue Jays two. Now back to the top of the Leading lineup, the stepping in, Bo Bichette. He's working on a one Number for two 11. game so far. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Hey, it's not always about filling up the strike zone all the time every inning. He's pitching well as we're moving into the middle innings, but interestingly, less than 50% of his first pitches have been for strikes. Oh, that's too high. And he takes this one high, one and one. And it's two balls and a strike to the Jays leadoff batter. The 2-1 home. He is swung on and missed and that's strike two. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel to that one. Swing and there it goes. He got all of that ball gone to lead off the inning. A solo shot here to straight away right field as it's trimmed to a 4 3 game now. So now to the plate, Kevin Biggio. Second base. 
as he'll take a look at a slider that can't make it back to the corner. It's ball one. One for two in the ball game thus far. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. He would have had to go with the old school Tommy Hawk approach on that one if he wanted to get on top, but he was able to lay off it. Too high, and it's 3 and 0. Double barreled action in the Yankee bullpen now. A lefty and a right hander start to get loose. Here it comes, the 3 0. He's in there for strike one. You maybe get two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window. This is certainly that situation. Here it is on three and one. The next three two. Hot shot down the line. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Hit hard back up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. That's the difference in today's games. Pitchers will throw any pitch in oh, any count. The but the batter was able to deliver on a 3 2 breaking ball. Here we go. Into the box now, Lourdes Gurriel. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Hit on the ground down the first baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. And there's ball two now. Nobody out runner on first. Yanked the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. Well, it's a pretty well known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters' counts. And that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter. Not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Line softly toward the hole. In there, a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now batter. Hey, we two strikes right seven. there. He didn't try and do too much. He took what the pitcher gave him, got the front foot down, and was able to fist feed a soft liner over the infielder's head for a knock. Here comes the Yankee skipper on his way to the mound and he's going to motion for the bullpen as that'll be all for his starter this afternoon. So as he departs his fate is still up in the air. He could stand to win it. He could get a no decision. He could even be on the hook Your for the loss please. if both runners come around now to score. Jonathan Holder hand. comes on now in an awfully Number difficult 56. situation as there are Jonathan. two on here with nobody out. Holder. Standing in now, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. As the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. He's one for two in this one. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. High that time with the slider taken for a ball. Holder is a reliever known for forcing contact. Not a huge strikeout guy most of the time, but he also doesn't issue a lot of free passes either. There's a couple of keys to being a good reliever. One, if you have great stuff and you strike everybody out, or like this guy, 
not afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. He has good stuff, not great stuff. He's not afraid to let his defense help him out and make some plays. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. First and second here with nobody out. Lofted in the air out toward right center. LeMahieu onto the grass. He's there and records the first down. The first baseman, number six, Travis Shaw. So striding in, Travis Shaw, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. First delivery to him on the way. Awesome execution right there. Great pitcher's pitch and an excellent job to get ahead in a tough spot. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. First and second now, one man out. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Big spot right here. That's a great pitch to try and see if you could get him to fish outside the zone. He's still in the driver's seat right now, and I'd expect something else to miss off the plate. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And here's a changeup in there for a called third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. Pretty clear he didn't like the now call there on the outside the part of the field. plate, but probably Grand too goal. good to take, and he's Rip down ball. on strikes for the second time. Yeah, that pitch was right on the black. Beautiful pitch, and even if we had robot umps, he'd still be out. But the only difference would be he wouldn't be able to complain about it. Here's Randall Gritchick. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. It was a walk in his last trip. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. And this one's in the dirt. The runners will stay put. However, the count evens at one. Two down, runners at first and second. Chopped toward the second baseman. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. Jays answer right back with this solo home run. Bottom of the sixth coming up. The Yankees four, the Blue Jays three. Digging in and looking for more. Leading Luke Voigt. They lead it Yankees. off as we start the home the sixth. Baseman. Luke. Boy. Now the pitch. Hey. Strike taken as the curveball drops into the bottom part of the zone. And some action now in the Toronto bullpen as a right-hander starts to get loose. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Nope, up there. We got two balls, one strike. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. And just when you needed a shutdown inning, a leadoff walk was certainly not on the agenda. He needs a bear down right here. The 3 1. Now a ball hit hard toward first. And that gets down and ought to be good for extra bases. He's through first and hustling for second. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. When you heard the crack of the bat, you just knew that was going to get down for an extra base hit. Great way to start an inning, that's for sure.
Stepping in now, Tyler Wade. As he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. He was retired after popping out in his last at bat. Here's a breaking ball that falls in there for a strike to even things at one and one. Now a 58 foot curveball that misses for a ball. It's two balls and two strikes now. 4-3 our score here as we play inning number six. Slow roller out to short. Going to be a tough play. Throw on to first and one shortstop grounds out to the other one away. Now batting second baseman DJ. Love Mayhew. So back to the top of the Yankee order. Digging in, DJ LeMayhew. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. First pitch on its way. Swung on and hit deep to left center. This one has a chance. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And he'll cruise into the bag at second with a one-out double. Now batting, the third baseman, Miguel Andujar. To the plate now, Miguel Andujar. As he'll take a breaking ball too low, and it's 1-0. And he's got a shot at history. Needs to send one over the wall to complete the cycle. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. Hit in the air down the right field line. And foul. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. And the curveball bounces here, but a good job behind the plate to keep it at arm's length. Now the 2-1. Taken strike two. Here now the 2-2. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Sean has to shade his eyes from the sun, but he stays with it for round number two. Now batting the designated hitter, Labor Torres. Torres will stride in, but first we take you back to the third as you take another look here at his two-run homer that had him rolling early on. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch went about halfway there, but it's a called strike regardless. Ready with the 0 and 1. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. Fisher looking up into the second deck and gone. So it's a three-run shot to straightaway right field. His second home run of the game as it is now 7-3. to three. Well, one of the narratives of today's game has been driven by the long ball. We've seen these squads go deep a combined five times in this one. 
Matty V, this is turning into Home Run Derby Part 2. D-Roll, five bombs already in this one. Now yeah, there's a fight at the bat right. rack for both teams Double right here. A lot of mislocations Jordan. right out over the heart Romano. of the plate, and neither side is missing. Jordan Romano, the six-foot-four-inch right-hander, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. Now and batter. that'll bring right up field. Aaron Judge. Aaron. As he'll send yeah. a ground ball down to third. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And how about that right out of the bullpen? A ground ball on one pitch, and the inning is over. Fair to say? Oh, my goodness. Uh, these folks are not headed for a career on Broadway. On to the back third here this afternoon, and we've got it for you on the show. Coming forward now, the Toronto designated hitter, Billy McKinney. No hits in two hitter. trips to the plate Billy. for him in the ballgame. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. And that's taken for strike one. Hey, there's an old saying in baseball, you need to take a strike in this spot. Well, he got one there. Now he just needs to find a way to get on. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Up next for the Blue Jays, the right fielder, Derek Fisher. Stepping into the box, Derek Fisher. He singled his last time up. Here comes the first pitch. Ball. Not close with that one. It's way above the strike zone. One out, nobody on. Count even now at one and one. Maybe too much break on the slider. Two and one. Now here's a ball hit high and deep to straightaway right field. Going back is the right fielder. A leaping effort, and he brings it in. Two away now after a great effort. Now that was a pretty spectacular catch right there. A lot of guys mistimed that jump because they're worried about the wall coming on. But he got it just right and hauled it in. Great stuff. Coming to the plate now, Reese McGuire. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Here's the first pitch to him. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the Ladies inning is and over. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays. They're down four. It's seven to three. Now at the plate, Brett Gardner. So far, two for three in this one. The center fielder, Brett. First pitch of the at bat. A ball and no strikes. Counts one and zero. Oh. Runs oh, outside, so it goes to two and zero oh now. Two zero oh to a guy with this kind of pop. You better be awfully careful because he's going to be swinging out of his shoes. Three and zero oh now. Romano playing here in his age twenty six season. This is his first year at the big league level. Here it is, the 3-0. Hey. Now that's a really curious pitch selection. 3-0 and turn to the slider. You have to wonder if maybe he's lost the feel for his fastball. The 3-1 and one pitch. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. But it bends just foul into the second deck. Now the three and two pitch. 
And that oh, misses boy, ball can't. four. It's a leadoff walk to start the home seventh. Well, when you go with the slider there in a full count, Up you're hoping that the hitter is thinking fastball and swings through it. Gary. Didn't work out that way, though. He Dun lays off Gary. and gets the free pass. Striding in, Gary Sanchez. He's working on a one for three thus far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Pitch is high. The throw. It skips in and he's safe. Close play, but he's in there. A runner at second, nobody out. Fastball got him to swing through it. It's one and one. From the stretch. Ball two. Two balls, one strike. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Weekly hit to third. And there's one down now. Now batting. The left fielder. Mike. Talkman. Into the box now. Mike Talkman. A hit and two tries for him so far. First pitch on its way. Runner at second here with one man out. Starts to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Guriel will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Now batting, the first baseman, Luke Boyd. Standing in, Luke Voigt. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get. Maybe one. Well, the first baseman is under it to make the play, and that retires the side. First baseman not normally known as the greatest leapers, but this wasn't too bad. Mark, Dan, and I are back with more after this. Your ben Heller please. has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 61. Ben. Heller. Bo Bichette will stand in yet again as we flash you back to the middle innings. This was a turning point here. A solo home run that was really one of the key at bats of the ball game to this point. Here comes the first pitch. And here's a ball in the air now carrying a bit out toward right center. Gardner is to his left as he puts it away in the alley for the first out of the inning. The batter number eight, second baseman, Kevin Biggio. Stepping in for the Jays, Kevin Biggio. He's two for three and looking for more here. Here's the first pitch to him. Ball one, no strike. Great pitch right there. As a pitcher, you don't want hitters to get too comfortable in that batter's box. That pitch in now might set up some pitch outside. Eight. And the fastball hitting 93 on the gun. It's one and one.
And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right hander starts to loosen up. Bases are empty one man out. Two and two now. Good eye to lay off the slider there, and he works it to full three and two here. Pretty easy pitch to lay off there, two and two. Not even close to being in the strike zone. He made it easy for the hitter in that one. And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground at the left side. And a base hit into left field, so they've got themselves a one-out base runner. Hey, just a Go nice back. piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that ball, stay square as long as possible, and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. In now, Lourdes Gurriel. As he'll try and hold off the swing, but this one's in there for strike one. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Oh, one on its way. Ah, his eyes lit up on that one above the zone, but he comes up empty. Big fastball is definitely this guy's M.O. coming out of the bullpen. Good waste pitch, one and two. Just a bit low, tough call, but it's two and two. Regardless of the result right here, to be down 0-2 and work it back to an even count, got to feel like it's a win for the offense. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Gardner is there. And he makes the catch for the second out. Now batting, number 27. In now, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First pitch of the at bat on its way. A runner on first with two away. Hit out towards second. LeMayhew's got it. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. One left for Toronto. Deficit holds it four. It's seven to three. Your Justin Miller three. is on to pitch out of now the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 60, Justin Miller. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now to the plate, Tyler Wayne. He was retired via the ground the ball stop. last time up. Tyler Wayne. First pitch of the at bat. That's a ball. Ball one, no strike. Now the 1 0. Finds the zone, strike one. Great job of doubling up with the fastball inside. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher go in there, but they won't go back in there a second time. This guy's not afraid to pitch inside. The 1-1. One, one. That's outside. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Left fielder giving chase. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the now first batting. out of the inning. The second baseman, DJ LeMayhew. Stepping in, DJ LeMayhew. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Here comes the first pitch. No balls and a strike to count. One out, nobody on. Oh, 
Strike two as the fastball is let go. Miller, a former member of the Washington Nationals, he was signed as a free agent in the middle of last season. Yeah, I know he expected to get a longer-term deal, but these are the facts right now. He is on a one-year deal, and he is going to have to produce if he is going to get that multi-year he's been looking for come offseason. A dive, but it's off his glove. And he won't risk the long throw across. He'll hang on to it. It's an infield single. You never want to beat a pitcher that breaks a guy now out of a batting. slump. But Third this guy was man. too good. You knew it was Be a dead. matter of time before he started I'm barreling baseballs. That gives him a multi-hit game, and I'm sure he's feeling good about it. At the plate now, Miguel Andujar. As the first pitch here has been high, it's ball one. And all eyes are on him as he needs a home run to complete the cycle. Now the 1-0 is looked at off the plate for a ball. Runner at first here, one man out. Pitch is popped up. Biggio is there for it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Up next for the Yankees, the designated hitter, Labor Torres. Next will be the designated hitter, Torres. He comes in two for three with a couple of home runs thus far on his line. Yeah, Matt, and going back to that last at bat when he hit the homer, that was a fastball that was up in the zone. This guy likes the ball up in That's the zone. So if I'm on the mound right now, I'm thinking try to keep the ball at the knees and below. He doesn't handle that low pitch quite as well. The 1-0. Two balls, no strike. Two out with the man at first. Too high, and it's three and zero. Oh. Well, he was definitely looking fastball here, and he got one. But that was good discipline to lay off and get himself into a three-zero count. From the stretch, oh, and he turns another one around here, and his fine ball game will continue. Give him another home run. So a two-run shot to left center, his third home run of the ball game, as it's now a six-run ball game. Well, talk about having a day. Three home runs in one game. We've heard about the hat trick in hockey, but it's awfully hard to do that the baseball game. So the bases are clear now following the home run. And no next to bat will be the outfielder, Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Fastball called for strike two. He's had to be sitting out over that outer half of the plate. For him to take those first two pitches right there, finds himself 0-2. I'll be surprised if the pitcher doesn't go right back to that spot. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Swing and a drive. This one's deep to right. And it's out of here. Back to back, two out home runs. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. His second of the game, as this is now a seven-run ball game. This one has turned into a slugfest of Ruthian proportions. Seven combined big flies. You guys remember seeing anything like that in a while? Dan, I can only speak from my own past experiences. When the flags are blowing out, you want as many at bats as you can, and that's exactly what's happening. This ball's jumping. Now, you know, D. Rowe, this is always a nightmare for a pitcher. Not only is this a good hitting ballpark, but the wind blows out on top of it. This is the last place you want to be a pitcher at. Wilmer Font enters now in a mop-up role, as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. At the plate, Rick Gardner. 
Right. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. The 1 0 home. Three runs already home here. Oh, could it be three in a row? And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. Ninth inning coming up. The Yankees lead it 10 to 3. Stepping up to the plate, Travis Shaw. Starting things for his side in the ninth as they the face the improbable six. odds of Travis. trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. But these guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. First offering on its way. Oh, up there. That's ball two. Two and oh. Now the two oh home. Ball three. Three and oh. And this pitch misses here. It's ball four, and they've got a leadoff base runner aboard to start the ninth. Now batting, the center fielder, Randall Gritchick. Stepping into the box, Randall Gritchick. No hits to this point. First delivery to him on the way. The 1 0. High and deep to right. Racing back the right fielder at the track. Gone. He uses that short porch to an advantage. Home run. Randall Gritchick, a two run shot. As they try to claw back, it's a five run deficit. This has been quite a hitting display from both sides. That's home run number eight on the day. Yeah, hey, Matty V, this big ballpark in the Bronx has that short porch in right field, D-Row. But you wait. can hit the ball out of just now about any part of this ballpark. Yeah, this place plays sneaky small. Number I know it's got big gaps, but right yeah. field is so juicy. Right As a right-handed hitter, you don't feel like you have to cheat. Not surprised by what we saw today. Zach Britton, a southpaw standing now six foot three, the gets the ball him. now out of the Billy. bullpen. So now to the plate, Billy McKinney. As he'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. As we near the end of this one, I think it's safe to say that the story of the game has undoubtedly been the long ball. Guys, what do you think about what we've witnessed? Well, as a former offensive player, I absolutely love it. Kudos to both lineups for doing absolute damage today. One of the most fun watches of the year. You know, D-Roll, what this shows me is this new age way of guys going up there and they're swinging hard. You need to make good pitches, quality pitches, and if you don't have command of the fastball, you're in for a long up day. And we game. saw that here this afternoon, the a ball field. flying out at near Derek. record pace. Fisher. Stepping in now, Derek Fisher. Hey. As the sinker to him finds the zone for strike oh, one. one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Oh. 
And this is hit hard to the right side, but foul. Still only one out in the inning. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. And he fouls this one off. He'll try again one two. Hit back up the middle reined in. And no chance on the throw here as he reaches first easily. Hey, that's great Not hustle bad. right there out of the Number box. Ten. Not everybody's getting it right out of the chute from step one, but I have to ask you, Dan, how frustrating executing a pitch and there's an infield knock. It is, D. Roy, and you can read that right off the bat as a pitcher. You can read the angle, and you know that that ball is going to be hit on the ground, and you're thinking deep down inside, nope. okay, there's a quick out, and it just wasn't meant to be. One ball, no strikes to count. Good deception on the slider there as he's way out in front. Hey, you know the pitcher right now, he's looking for that best friend, that double play ball. This is where you have to really be disciplined at the plate and make sure that you get a pitch that's above the knees that you can get in the air. Now a double play ball here as this is on the ground to third. To second, but they throw it away. And they no. won't get him as he's able to advance from first to third on what would certainly be now scored back. a throwing error. Wow, this manager must be pulling his hair out. Not only does he have to deal with this pitcher walking people, now he's got to deal with his defense tripping all over themselves. At the plate, Bo Bichette. And these guys are making a little push here. You have to like the effort despite the odds. Yeah, you really do, Matt. Look, they still have a significant hill to climb, but hey, they string a couple of hits together here, and all of a sudden, this thing feels doable. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Outside, that's Just ball. a bit too much run on the sinker that time as it misses off the outside for ball one. Slow roller down the third baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. Back up the middle to second for one. On to first, and he rolls a double play ball to end it here as this ball game is over. Yeah, and they end this thing with style, turning that double play to preserve the win. That's what we call finishing strong. This one ends with a 10-5 score. The New York Yankees blasted five home runs in route to victory. Masahiro Tanaka is credited with the win. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.